Welcome back to Bluebell Island for episode 6 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's a happy machine. Apparently. Perfect. Get this put away. I am in the Massey Ferguson 8A5 mower, wind rower mower thing, combination, whatever you want to call it. And I've come up past um, the old grain elevator, which is just, where is it? Oh no, just there. Haven't quite got to it yet. And hillside grain is over there. We've got a big grass field here, so I thought I'd use this to be the first place to uh, make a start. Um, helper J has completed their task, that will be over at field 7, the ploughing is complete. Now, what I have done is grab the Mengel, I still say Mengel, there's not an accent over the E, so it's not Mengele. The Mengel, we'll go with Mengel, um, loading wagon. Now, this would normally, I think, would have a PTO attachment? There's a PTO under there. So this probably isn't how it would or should operate, because it would have a PTO to operate all the machinery, but it has hooked up. So, I don't know, fingers crossed, let's see what happens. wagon. But hopefully what should be happening is grass should be cutting and collecting underneath and this should pick it up. It says it's going up so fingers crossed. Now it's possible that on here I'll have one of those weird ley lines, whatever you want to call them, which will prevent it from cutting and then I'll get a big mound suddenly pile up, but we'll see. And I said I would use this mower. Actually, I like it. It's nice and wide at the front. So you pick up enough grass that it's not a waste of time, but you don't go over the rocks, of course. still not great but needs must. I think I've got another where is there another grass field? I think there's another one. Over there as well. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. It missed a load that all of a sudden you get a pile appear like that. If that's easy to see or not, but there you go. You get a huge pole just suddenly appears. But hopefully, in the update, that will get sorted out. So I'll mow as much as I can, and I'll um, 
get this over to the bunker silo. Actually, this is working way better than I thought. That's good. So once this full, we'll get over there and unload the first load, and I'll keep going until we've got plenty in the bunker silo, so we won't have to worry about silage for quite a while, hopefully. Doesn't matter how much we've got in there, as long as we've got enough to do a few lots of bales and make some total expression, that's the plan. Now I could have cut this first, then come in and wind road it and then I could have done. But it seems pointless if I can just pull something along behind it that picks it up. and you get a clunk and there'll be a whole load like now First load is ready, so I've grabbed the Bura, only because it'll be quicker going backwards and forwards than with the actual mower itself, because the mower is actually quite slow, I think it only goes at 16. This does go at 26, but I have turned the speed down a little bit to 22, just because I'm not convinced the tractors will be flying along that fast. Five thousand litres every load, rather than fourteen. When I did the um, silage harvest, we should get a fair bit into the bunker silo quite quickly. I hope. done so far is I've used the Massive Ferguson 200C, the tracked one just there, um, to compact the silo so it's a bit smoother for getting up here. slowly this uh, loading wagon unloads. Yeah, look out to sea. It's quite murky out there. Not bright sunshine like we have had. Set the cruise control this time at two miles an hour. Get a more even unload, hopefully. Still can unload completely. Last 
so I think we've got the middle. Judging by that noise, something needs oiling. Right, let's get back over there, get on with this grass. Bit of tidying and compacting, I'll start with compacting. Right? Which is the perfect tool for it. Eighty per cent compacted, fill level one hundred and seventeen thousand litres. I think maybe if I get to about one hundred and sixty thousand litres, that should give me about forty bales, forty bales worth. If I use one silage bale per load, that should give me 40 loads, which does mean I'm going to need 40 straw bales and double that of hay, but it gets me started. So I'm thinking one more load, 25, two more loads, and I should be fine. Next time you see me, we should be ready to uh, to blanket the silo, hopefully. What I'm going to do is tidy up the send a little bit first. I'm at 97% compacted, 98. 
and we'll get this covered. 99. What have we ended up with? 167,000 litres. Nearly 168. There we go. Blanket silo. Job done. Okay, that will solve the silage problem for a little while. Um, so I won't need to worry about silage bales. Straw bales I definitely need. Hay bales I'm all right for at the moment because I've got all those there, and I've still got on one of the grass fields over there somewhere, over the ridge. Um, and there's more on the field. Not a huge amount. Probably about another eight or so. So hay I should be fine for, for a little while, but straw, that's the worry. So what I might do as well, I'm going to do some contracting in a little while too. So I need to get the money up a little bit. I've bought, the money has dropped because I bought another cedar. I bought a different cedar because the you've got the one that does what, what I say, the, the standard crops. And then you've got the cedars that do the... Um, the corn, soybean, sunflower and sugar beet. So I've bought one of those. Um, and that's over, I think it's the Conver Convernland Optima 5, I think it is. Um, I'll have to check that. Um, that's over at the store. Because I want to reseed field 7 with corn. So the money's dropped a little bit. But I also need to get a sprayer for spraying fertiliser. So I'm going to need... Um, a bit more money. I definitely need a bit more money. Um, so, I'm going to whiz over. The animals... Oh, that's what I meant to do. Uh. Rather than keep moving this over to the uh, the pigs and the sheep, I'm going to use something else over there, actually. Something I bought and haven't used yet. It's going to prove actually very useful, I think. This keeps catching the ground. There we go. It's not a lot, but needs cleaning. But it does need doing. Perfect. Right. Just pop that there for the time being, I think. Now, over to the farm. Right. Is there a wall there? There is a wall there, isn't there? Let's see if I can squeeze through there. Ugh. This is tight. In through the back window, then, it is. So I've grabbed the Joskin three points. Uh, what was it called? Three points loader bucket. That's going to annoy me. Uh, what was it under? Tippers. Three points tipper. Because this will work just like a bucket. I've got them on the side walls. I was left to comment, so I'm going to have plenty of roast chicken, and they're not wrong. Oh, that's close. Open it up. Uh, 
perfect. Okay. Raise it up. Close that. I'll go and do the pigs. I do like these three points tippers, they're really good. Another black sheep modding mod. Those guys are perfectionists. And 4,500 is you know, kind of bucket size, I think it's 4,000 capacity. Um, it's, uh, it's a nice looking bit of kit. Especially if you get the old one. It fits in with this map and what I'm doing absolutely perfectly. Well, there we go. Interesting. I'll do that if I come straight on at it. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, I'm just thinking I get another one of these. I could have one left here, one left over by the sheep, and then it's here when I need it. Perfect. Right, let's pop this down. Well, that's animal soil again, the cleanliness anyway. go and get the uh, massive Ferguson 885 I left it over in the field actually <laughs> that needs bringing back now there's still beauty worked an absolute treat for doing that silaging I'm really really impressed with it something a bit different to the normal mowers that will do. And the door's open. Brilliant. Hop straight out. Okay. Great bit of kit. Um, I'm just deciding what to do now. I've brought back everything that I'm using. Now I've got the, um... Did I say the New Holland? No, the Bureau. I've taken the Bureau to Field 7. Field 7's now been fertilised, ploughed, it's now being cultivated. Um, I have to do some contracting now. I need to get a corn header or a helianthus header. I've got the sunflowers to do, and the corn header will do the helianth uh, will do the, the sunflowers. I don't really want to get two separate headers. But if I'm going to buy one, my money's going to drop massively. So I'm thinking maybe a bit of contracting first, then we'll get the helianthus harvest done. Then I'm going to need to, I don't think I'm going to buy just yet, but lease some equipment for doing the sugar beet harvesting. And I did remember, because I'm an idiot, uh, when I first set the farm up, and I said of the very first episode, I think it was, I'd bought four fields to get myself going, because you only start with field three, which is just there. One of the fields I bought was field nine, and I completely forgot. I forgot I bought it. So there we go. So I've got two fields of sugar beet. 
And if I'm going to buy sh buy sugar beet, if I'm going to harvest the sugar beet, I'm going to need somewhere to store it. Some I will sell, some I will store. I could just put it in one of these, I suppose. I suppose that would work, wouldn't it? Pile it up in one of these, maybe. So they think about getting a, a shelter for actually storing the sugar beet. But um, enough of the pigs. I could just put a load in here, couldn't I? And then come and get it whenever I need it. Yeah, that'll work. Because I don't think... Actually, I will get a trailer and check that. I don't think I can store it in here. But I will check. Uh, right, so, a bit of contracts, I think. Where was I doing the contracts? In field 4, wasn't it? Originally. I never finished that field off. I don't want to get wet. Take ages to dry off. That's better. So, here we are at field 4. I've got the uh, massive Ferguson 3090 there with the weeder just over there by field 3. As soon as that kind of first growth comes up, we'll get that weeded. Bit of slurry spread in. Lovely. It might do a few on this, actually. It's only 34,000 to build by the field. I love the fact the fields aren't expensive. I mean, they're not very big, so they wouldn't be. Interesting as well. Bear in mind that you could use any equipment you want on this map, any equipment at all. It didn't initially give me a modern tractor. I'll see on the next one if I can swap it out for something a bit more modern. Just curious. And whenever I'm doing my contracting, it's very rarely pretty. I just do what I need to to get it done quickly. The time bonuses aren't as good as they were originally, I don't think, in game. I should really have turned it off. So I'm just slurrying the grass around it. Now, the fact I bought this island, I don't own all the fields on it, obviously. They're owned by other people. But I'm kind of, um, what they call it, caretaker. There are a lot of islands, I think Outer Hebrides, the Shetlands, there's quite a few around the UK, where you have, uh, like, resident farmers, um, kind of like caretakers that look after the island. And you can get jobs doing that, which I think is quite cool. Quite a nice life, I think. Some of those islands are a bit windswept and uh, so windswept, windswept and interesting. It would be an amazing life, I think. Right, okay, so so 2000. What's next? Hang on though. Mustn't forget to do this, it's important. I normally do that off screen, but so that's interesting. No missions available. We're not going to put seeds in the ground, or okay. Ah, there is seed in the ground already. 
Well, that's flipping annoying. Uh, okay, what fields do need doing? It's all just going to be spraying jobs. Nothing needs sewing. Let's see if field 21 needs any work doing on it. Might pay a little bit more. Another slurry job. Okay, this might take a little while. I'm going to do some more contracting. I'll see you in a bit. The modern tractor. What witchcraft is this on this island? We don't like these newfangled machines. Jolly nice though. The money is now at 138,000 and I've pretty much done every contracting job I can do on the map. <laughs> Two fields I've gone from harvest right the way through to reseeding. Uh, a few of the others I've um, slurry spread, I've fertiliser sprayed. This is the last field left. Field number six with a slurrying job to do. I'm not going to buy the field, that would have been a mistake. I meant to just start the task. So. I think I'm up to 22 contracts. I've only done one, and that was on field four. Um, and the money has increased, which is exactly what I needed it to. And then once I've run out of contracts to do, I'll crack on with my own. Uh, field seven, which is directly ahead of us now, is sorted and ready for seeding. It's cultivated. Uh, the cultivator, the ma massive Ferguson cultivator, a few people have said um, it's not working properly. I haven't had a problem with it. Um, that could just be me, um, but it's been fine. Next episode, seeding of Field 7. Possibly the sunflower harvest just over there. Is that a field? Or the one over there? Anyway, sunflower harvest. Um, and I also need to think about sugar beet harvest too, that needs doing. But that is the end of this episode. They are flying by incredibly quickly. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share the video, please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching. <laughs>